Hey everyone. Hello. And welcome to our YouTube channel. We're as always your host Arne and Carlos. We have shown some uh, of the best uh, sites in Oslo, but now we thought we'd show you a few of the hidden gems. Yeah. And how about these super cute houses over here, Arne? Uh, this is a nice area. It's called Teltusbakken. In the old days, this was the outskirts of Oslo, so it was wasn't actually in the city. No. And it's called Teltusbakken because telt that's a tent. And the soldiers in the old days, they had their telts, tents. or tents there. So, yeah. see, in Norwegian and English is so close. Yeah. And here you've got little <laughs> allotments. Uh, I think they call, they're called kolonihager, uh, in our language anyway. And these little allotments are for the people around here. They can rent a little space and then they can grow their, their veggies. And, uh, yeah, a lot of beautiful kitchen gardens here. And, uh, yeah, they're all the way up, actually. It's just very, very lovely here. Um, I wish I had a house here. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Well, I think there. we have in, more than enough. Yeah, houses we do. That's right true. Now. So, <laughs> anyway, tell us back in. So now we're going to go down to Mathallen and show you that place. Yeah, Mathallen is a place to go to when you get hungry. That's for sure. So uh, come with us and uh, let's go have some good food, Arne. Now we're in the food hall, Mathallen. Vulkan. It's called Vulkan. It's yes. very close to the river, Akersharva, the river that splits the city in two. Yes. So now we're on the e west side of the river. <laughs> yes. And it's, uh, it's uh, not so far from the center of the city. You can actually walk up here. And this is a really nice place yeah. to have some easy, quick food. Yeah, we love good food. And if there's something you can find in here is really good food. Um, all kinds of vendors here. There's fish, there's meat, there's Japanese, there's Italian, there's French, Indian. <laughs> Maybe there's some everything, Norwegian. <laughs> everything, even some Norwegian high quality um, things, yeah. high quality uh, food. Uh, ingredients and we also come here sometimes to buy things to take home they've got a really great sausage maker here do, yeah. Um, yeah and great cuts mm. of everything so um, if you're gonna come here and have lunch or dinner we highly recommend uh, Mothallen Vulkan Mothallen so Bon Appetit <laughs> So this is the Akers Elva, the Akers River. Akers River, and you can walk up here. It's eight kilometers all the way up to Maridalsvanne, which is the lake. The lake where Oslo gets its drinking water, and uh, from there down eight kilometers, you end up at the Munch Museum, where the river ends up in the Oslo Fjord. Now um, it's a lovely place. You can actually fish here. Um, and there's fish. <laughs> hopefully. And hopefully, yeah. And Oslo is actually um, one of the few capitals in the world where, you know, within minutes, if you go by car or even by tram, yeah. you can be out in nature. It's so, very small compared to bigger cities yeah. like New York or London. or. It's a very small very city small. surrounded by nature everywhere. And uh, this river is a great place to come if you want fish for dinner. And if you want to take a nice walk. Yeah. Just walk up the river. Yeah, or, you can, swim, or you can swim, somebody <laughs> says. I don't know about that. Not upstream, but there anyway. are small, quiet places where yeah. you can swim. So, Akerselva. Akerselva. A part of Oslo. So 
uh... <laughs> Join us for a walk down Markvejen, a very nice street, a lot of nice shopping and it's a very nice place. Yeah, the area is called Grinulika, it used to be very dodgy back in the old days, but now it's uh, full of shops, so, so let's go and have a look. Okay, we've got another hidden gem here, Arne. The one I'm never going to use. The one you're never going to use. Uh, these cute little floating saunas uh, are very used uh, by the locals here in Oslo. And uh, yeah, what you do is you take off your clothes, you go in, and then when you're hot, you, you jump, jump in the in fjord. The I am going to do this one day. <laughs> Not today. Arne is never going to do this. No. For sure. But this is very So here you see nice. you see some people already uh, ready to take the plunge, I guess. Or, yeah, probably. Or, or maybe they're just outside because they don't want to jump. But <laughs> anyway, this is uh, a very fun thing to do. If you've ever, ever uh, wanted to know what it feels like to jump in the fjord in the middle of November, come here and jump in the fjord and then you'll see. I will never tell you how it is. <laughs> We've got something over there, Arne. Yeah. S salt. Those, those are the big saunas. The one that looks like uh, the drying rack for the fish in Lofoten. It's actually a building that has been transported from northern Norway to Oslo. It's called Salt and uh, it's one of the biggest saunas around here. This whole area there has been developed now. It's very cool. There's concerts there and a lot of fun. Oh. And somebody just splashed right in. And it wasn't Arne, because he's here. Anyway, the saunas, you got to come and do this. Or not. Or not. <laughs> come and look at it, it's nice. To conclude our uh, little journey of secret gems in Oslo, we're in a not-so-secret place right now. We are in uh, Frognerparken, which you guys probably know as Vigalands Park. And there is a little secret here that we want to share with you all. Yeah, a lot of people don't know this. But we do. But if you walk up to the monolith and you walk on this side behind the monolith, you have this, what you call this, this plateau. Yeah. And if you walk into that circle and clap your hands, you will have the echo of your clapping. Yes, it's a perfect acoustics here. So let's go and let's see if it works. If it works. A lot of people don't know this, <laughs> so you have to try it if you come here. So stand in the middle and, let's and clap your hands. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> See? Works every time. Works every time. Okay. Oh yeah, I can hear it from there. Okay, let's do it together. <laughs> okay. So that's it from That's it from, uh, from the secret little gems in Oslo, plus a little secret as well. We hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, please give us a big thumbs up. Like and subscribe. Make sure to turn on your notifications so that you never miss an episode. And if you want additional content, we've got a lot of things in our membership area here on our YouTube channel, including monthly shenanigans with Arne and Carlos, uh, live streams with knitting help, fun emojis. And behind the scenes. Yes. Stuff. Yes. So thank you for watching and see you again next week, 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 week. week. <laughs>
Bye. Bye. Bye.